Welcome everybody. Today we're going to talk about the differences between auto beat sync and instant mode. Auto beat sync is right here. Instant mode is right here. And in a nutshell, auto beat sync will synchronize your music to your video. Instant mode will sync audio and graphics to your video by the use of a template and a theme. Well, let's go over both of those. We'll start with auto beat sync. This is auto beat sync. There's several ways to access this. Let's look at this way first. Add your media here. You can add one clip, two clip, as many clips as you want. Uh, I would keep it under 50 clips to keep things uh, moving along. You can set the length of your video here to whatever you want. It's currently set to the whole length, which is 18 seconds. And it will always default to Manos Mars. But if you have audio saved in a folder, you can pick whatever you want. And then you can pick the place to start your background music. Let's say we want to start it right there. Instead of back here, we'll start it right there. And beat cut is how fast or slow would you like the music to be cut into the audio. We'll go over fast on this one. Go ahead and click analyze. Now obviously analyze is dependent upon your processor speed. There's also some video effects included. Let's put RGB on, red, green, blue effect. And we're just going to move it from the left to the first section. And I am talking in the background here and I'm going to show you how to fix that as well. Let's reanalyze. Welcome everybody to Travis, and we are sweet with the line. Give us the link for the last ride the wheel, make a notification, and check out awesome video. Zero. We are going to have a video. So you see the RGBs are going in very slowly. Let's move it all the way to the right and reanalyze. So you can get everybody to travel yes. one, and two, we are sweet with the line. Three. Give us the link for the last ride the wheel, make a notification, so and check out. You get the idea there. So the further you move the slider to the right, the more effects you're going to have. They are random, and they're sort of synced up to the music as well. So let's put in a lot of glows, a little RGB, a couple video walls, and no blurs. Welcome everybody to Travis, and we are sweet with the line. Give us the link for the last the wheel. Okay, and to mute that, I really wish they had the mute button right here, but they don't. So to mute that, we're simply going to export this to our timeline. And this is also a great way to learn Filmora uh, because you can see what they did and how they did it. But in this case, we just want to simply click on our... Uh, let's click right here and put it all on one track. Drag. Highlight them all. And in my case, I've got a preset for M for mute. Mute them all. And now there's just background music and effect. Now that we're in the timeline, let's just say, oh, I don't like that wall effect. We'll just go over here and delete it. No big deal, right? Maybe we want to add some text right there. That's easy, too. Oh, have you seen the new text? Word art. But for now, let's just throw some text in there. Okay, you get the idea. So that's one way to access auto beat sync. Let's go ahead and just clear this real fast. Clear everything. I'm just hitting delete. And now let's go to media. And there's the file that I imported before. And you can right click that file and go to auto beat sync. And it will bring up the exact same window. So there are two ways to access this, from the main startup screen and from inside of the regular Filmora import media section. Here's a second clip. So i got two clips here. If I highlight both Welcome clips... everybody's got slides. We're at Caesars today. ...and hit auto beat sync. Now they're both automatically in there. And one final way is to add one clip to auto beat sync and then hit the plus button and go to the folders and find whatever you want and add the second one. All right, 
This is a great tool. I use it all the time, and it's really fun to just let uh, Filmora do whatever it is they want to do, put it on the timeline, and then you can alter and modify from there. And it really helps you uh, learn some Filmora skills by doing that. Let's go and look at the next tool. Instant mode is similar, except now we're going to apply a template, a theme, if you will. And um, let's just go ahead and pick some. Let's pick vlog. And uh, we'll do this uh, travel life on here. And we're gonna import our media. And I'll just gonna just grab a handful of whatever I got. Um, you are limited to 50 clips here. So you can pick and choose your clips. Uh, it says add more media, but I do not believe it'll let you go over 50. If you don't think you have enough or you want to grab from another folder, you can go back to import. And this one is just auto create. And um, this is me playing a slot machine, in case you were wondering. Uh, once again, this is completely dependent on your processor speed, uh, the resolution of those clips, uh, other software you may have running in the background. There's a lot of factors here on how long this could take. Uh, it is doing a considerable amount of work in the background, so just be patient. Now, obviously, the theme is about travel and the video is about slot machines. So there are multiple ways to change that as well. You can simply go right up here and edit the text. You can also add and remove uh, elements, but I much prefer to do this on the timeline. Uh, there is one little warning I'll give you here. Uh, once you leave this screen, it'll save a backup for you, but you can't come back here. So once you go to the timeline, you're on the timeline. I, I like to just call this like the basic run uh, to get it somewhat close. And then you jump over to the timeline and you uh, dial it in. And that's how I prefer to do it. Let's do that. The timeline is right here. And uh, just like I said, uh, it can save, uh, but you can't come back. So uh, you want to switch, you say yes, and you're pretty much out of that. Now, you can see they've added quite a few uh, LUTs and other things. They've got transitions. Um, none of that is in Auto Beat Sync. Auto Beat Sync is just syncing up your audio to your video and four different effects if you want them. This is quite involved. Uh, they've, they've synced your audio, cut it, synced it, added the beats. You can see there are different uh, beats here. Some are set to two times, some are four times. They've just about done everything you could want. And all you need to do is go in and change things to your liking. So right there. So right there, uh, there was some video that I didn't like. It says, discover the city. I would change this to look at me playing a slot machine, for example. And uh, maybe I don't, I don't want the very dirty film effect. You can see that. Uh, it's kind of a cool effect, but if I don't want it, uh, I can just simply hide the track and now the dirty film effect is gone you can always add it back anyway that's it that's auto beat sync and instant mode both extremely powerful tools both come with your standard filmora subscription these do not cost any extra um, above your subscription rate and if nothing else they are excellent tools to help you learn Filmora because look at what they're teaching you right here. Look at all the ideas you can get from this. By the way, just hover your mouse, transitions, fade. They tell you which elements they're using. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon on the next video. Make sure you hit the bell for notifications, subscribe to the channel, leave me comments, and hit that thumbs up for me. Hit that like button.